Good morning from the West Coast and happy Wednesday. Good morning. Right, first things first. In case anyone needs it, I just dropped the meeting notes agenda leak. Uh, link in the Zoom chat. And if everyone can go ahead and fill out their attendance. And I'm going to give everyone just another minute in case anyone else is joining. And I'm a little late getting my coffee this morning, so don't mind me. While attendance is being filled out, if we have any new or irregular attendees today that want to speak up and announce themselves, introduce yourself or what brought you in today, please feel free, free to speak up. We'd love to hear from you. Looks like we have some good attendance today. All right. And with that, we're going to go ahead and jump into agenda. Looks like we have some things to cover. If anyone wants to add anything to the open floor or has a pull request or um, a bug or mailing list conversation that we need to dive into, um, please feel free to add that any time during today's meeting. And with that, um, it looks like we have a couple of points regarding Kubefort. If you want to go ahead and speak to that. Hello. Um, yeah, I, I presume these are relevant agenda things. I was just curious, this is a follow up from my uh, email to Kubefort. Dev earlier this week about um, if people are attending KubeCon in person um, in Valencia in mid-May. Um, if you if you could let me know so I can help coordinate the Kubebird presence there. Um, that was point one. And point two is I found out today that um, we've received the uh, from the CNCF the, um, some Kubebird Pride logos. Um, I don't yet know how to put them somewhere, um, but uh, am I able to share my screen? Yeah, go for it. I'll uh, uh, turn it over to you. Okie dokie. Uh, no um, yeah, can you see that? That is too yeah. cool. Uh, so they they provide us with a variety of them, um, yeah. To to use it, you know, appropriate times and um, just to kind of have in the quiver, I guess. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to share that. And that's all for me. Go ahead and take over screen sharing back. Those are super cool. I need to get some of those. All right, and Jed, uh, looks like you have some storage topics to cover. Hi, yes, can you hear me okay? Yes, we can. Yeah, cool. Um, so yeah, I, I, uh, I've been thinking for a while about uh, creating some kind of backend storage for VMs so that we can persist stuff on our side. Um, I have two examples that I listed in the document. Um, we, might, we may want to uh, persist EFI firmware settings. Uh, and also what I'm currently working on, VTPM, um, if we want to enable the persistent TPM state, then we need to keep a file somewhere. And so in both cases, we need to, uh, to keep like two or three files 
uh, for each VM, very small files, like a few uh, kilobytes. Um, and so I was thinking about using a one megabyte PVC, which I think is the minimum minimal size usually. And so, yeah, I was, I'm gonna write a, a design proposal for that. And uh, I was wondering if anyone had concerns, suggestions, or other ideas. So what immediately comes to, can you hear me? Hi, yeah. Roman here. Good. So what immediately comes to my mind is that also you can request one maybe byte on all search providers. Many of them will still give you one gigabyte or give you byte internally because that's for many the smallest thing that they can allocate. Um, yeah, that's the first thing which comes to my mind. So pro you probably end up with requiring way, way more storage than you actually think. And you said a gigabyte per, per one gigabyte. gigabyte is in or gigabyte is in many cases the minimum which gets wow. in the back ends actually requested. From my experience, I can be wrong, but last time I looked deeper into this, this was kind of the impression I got. So I would check that definitely. Yeah, one gigabyte would be pretty awful. Uh, the other thing is, uh, it, it may maybe it would make sense to have kind of a, a PVC for word handlers, where you then kind of make this the stuff accessible then to each VM. Already right now we have shared folders between word handler and word launcher. Like, I think it's still there. So there are ways to share subfolders with each launcher so that they can't see the whole content of a uh, parent directory. That may be another suggestion and that would then exist on the source and the target because the PVC would be kept on all their handlers or mounted. Right, so, so one, just one PVC. Uh, yeah. for everything yeah that that's yeah. if so, yeah that, that sounds pretty i guess the important part would be to not have it on the virtual launchers because it contains secrets from other guests and you probably don't want to share it yeah so on, on that on that front, it should be okay because for vtpm it's encrypted and uh for you for efi it's not really critical information but still yeah that's a good point i guess it would be still preferred to not share right. it <laughs> yeah, share it. yeah. Um, yeah, so that would be the first two things which come to my mind initially. Awesome. Maybe others have more sense. thoughts. All right, yeah, and, and we can continue the discussion on the uh, design proposal PR anyway, uh, once I open it. Yeah, but I guess there are questions which you can pre-evaluate already before you make uh, end. Yeah, and no, thank, thank you for that. Oh, well, thank you for taking on the initiative uh, as far as that goes. Looking forward to seeing the proposal. Um, with that, again, I'm definitely inviting any anyone who is on or newcomers to pull up any pull requests or bugs or anything like that that they want extra attention on. I'm going to go ahead and jump into them just in case there's anything that stands out as needing attention. You guys got busy this week. I need to keep that. All right, so I didn't see anything there needing that's neglected. I'm not going to jump into any individual ones since they're not on the agenda, and I don't see any that aren't getting movement. And sure enough, it looks like the VM memory dump proposal has a thread you can follow up with on community group, if anyone has later thoughts on that. Uh, 
I think. Andrew, yeah, I, I hadn't to... read that yet. That's awesome. Thank you. And other than that, again, obviously, um, helping be part of the Kubert voice and presence in conventions, especially, you know, KubeCon, like in case you haven't heard of it. Always a good time. I'm hoping to be at least at the US KubeCon this year. Fingers crossed, maybe I get to Spain. Yeah. And if you do, let me know, please. All right. Mm -hmm. I didn't get my pen. Um, do we need to get this one assigned if we're worried about an open vulnerability? Open SSL. You would point out to me that we have a dependency on open SSL. Be honest. What is the number? Seven four zero three. Yeah, seventy four zero three. Um. Yeah, they're not mentioning where it affects us. Function used when parsing certificate. Uh, okay, the, mm. the the vulnerability. It could be that we have the packages installed inside mm -hmm. inside one of our containers. Yeah, Let's check that. It's, it's actually for all of our two containers. It's well, at least handler and what? launcher. It's at least for handler and launcher. Yeah, open, we install OpenSSL libs. Um, I'm not sure if we have actually code which is using it. At least our Go code is not using it, but Libre.com may use it somewhere. think, correct me if I'm wrong, but going back to the whole FIPS compliance discussions, I think we actually do use the OpenSSL li libraries indirectly through Golang. It may be a compile time, nope. mind you. Not, uh, not the community. So Red Hat as a FIPS compatible build, but that's a different coding version. Okay. And the community is just using the Golang crypto, poly, uh, crypto library, um, but we have Libert and QEMO and something, either Libert or QEMO are pulling in open SSL libs, which we could be affected, hard to tell. So it's definitely something to check out. Let, um, I wonder if we have a we have an update from Andrea of the RPM dependencies. Let me just check if that is updating this dependency too. If it is, we can at, at least add it as a fix. I'll have it in a second. Oh, we actually have that. Oh, no. No, yeah, we don't have a fix yet for it. Um, let's just edit a trash accepted here and um, maybe assign it to me. Uh, now my, my uh, hmm. can you jog my memory on this? Uh, 
acceptance and assignment. wasn't it just slash triage space accepted or was it yeah we will see <laughs> when you click commit <laughs> No. Then it then it's no space, then it's a dash. And together. I'm failing miserably. No, I, I need no, I my think, cheat I think sheet. That we are that we are again occurring have occurring GitHub issues. It can be oh. that maybe just the web okay. is not working at the moment or something like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that happens pretty frequent the last two or three days. Yeah, we are in a bad luck for CI the last couple of days already. Uh, uh, yeah, the let's plot to make we... me look bad. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not always about me, I know. Um, uh, uh, let me just edit manually. Okay. Let's see what we got here. And we have it. I'm going to look into that one. Maybe I'll put it in the back. Um, other than that, it looks like nothing else added to the agenda. So with that, I will go ahead and conclude. Please, please, please don't hesitate to speak up if you want to be involved in any of the con stuff. Um, KubeCon, seriously, lots of fun. Say so, even if it's last minute and you're attending. And to everyone, thank you for joining us this morning. Um, I keep saying morning, like it's morning all the way around the world. And I apologize for, you know, thinking again that it's all about me, but um, we'll see you again here next week. Same time, same place. Okay. See you, bye. Thank you. Thank you. For thank you. Thank you. Just to add for someone, there's everyone, uh, there's always some morning right so yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go i can just say good morning at all times of day and technically i'll be right i appreciate that perspective okay. <laughs> see you bye